Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing a conversation with your person. Yes, we are. We're, this week we're using Hush Tarot and uh, Heaven and Earth Tarot. And of course we're using Big Mama Message Deck. I have pre-shuffled it for us. The deck grew this week. Y'all know I added quite a few more message cards into it. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. It's for meant for whoever it resonates with. Just gives me an extra chance to throw out an extra reading for everyone and pick up as much energy as I can. Here we're going to lose the deck, and y'all know I don't want to turn them upside down. Don't want to be throwing shade in the reading. No, no shadow. <laughs> This is for my Aquarius, their person. What do we want to talk about this week? This is Aquarius's person. Aquarius. Ooh, the, the deck is warm, y'all. Mm -hmm. Aquarius. Ooh. Right here. Ooh, we got two. We'll take them. We've got a Knight of Wands. You Sagittarius energy. That is the mover, the shaker, going after what you're passionate about. I'll sometimes just a change of direction. What else do we have? We've got Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, frustration. Oh, it's also about patience, but it's the card of frustration. While we're trying to be patient, we're like, is this really worth all my energy? What I'm investing into it? Is anything going to come of this? Oh, let's see what else they're, they're going to uh, pop out here. We'll find out what that's about. We've got Ace of Cups, new love, new love. <laughs> okay, new love. What else? What else? What else? Oh, right here. We've got one standing with. We've got a four of swords. Somebody is holding back, private, getting clarity. You know, it's a card about um, getting rest, recuperation, things like that. But it's also being private while you, while you get your clarity. What come with it? A page of pentacles, the babe that is not ready to jump in the love arena yet. Ow, let's find out what's going on with that. Let's also find out about our Knight of Wands energy, that mover. Where are they moving to? Tell us a little bit about that and the frustration. Because there's some frustration on new love. And somebody is just not ready to jump into a relationship, a, a connection yet on this one. So let's find out a little bit more about their Knight of Wands, that Sagittarius energy. Ooh. Did y'all see it fly out? We've got Aquarius star card. The future. They're wanting to move to the future. But what about it? Oh, we've got a four of swords, rest, <laughs> recuperation, clarity, clear thinking, four of wands, hmm, celebration, but uh, feeling like you're being, um, how to put it, supported, like you're in a partnership, like it's growing and going somewhere. A lot of times that card is about celebrating, honoring, respecting each other, it incorporates your family or tribe. Being happy for you as a couple moving uh, forward together. Ow, there's a lack. I'll say. Yee, five of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely holding back. Because y'all know anytime we get that Five of Pentacles, it's an anxiety card. When we talk about emotions, it says anxiety. So somebody is definitely holding back. The Five of Pentacles, the Pentacles are always there. The help's always there. It's just for whatever reason, we don't reach out and take hold of the opportunity, the what's available to us. So that, somebody is definitely getting frustrated. 
and their frustration is going to be on this person over here sitting in uh, private mode of, I'm not sure yet, I need to get some clarity. What else? Show me this one. Let's go deeper on that four of wands. Tell me about that one, because I feel like... I feel like this is possibly your energy over here. How they're viewing you right now. Of your healing, you're trying to get past something. You're trying to get straight. You, you don't need outer influences. You're just in that mode of private private let me get my clarity let my mind calm down with this one what i'm hearing is they 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 want to reach out to us they want to be that support we're like i got your back let me help that kind of thing we got the hair font yeah faith tradition two of swords that mm, mm. What am I hearing on that one? Because I'm popping right back over here on, on your energy of uh, you're not having it right now. Yeah, uh, the, with the blindfold, the outer influences, I can't handle it. I don't need your influence right now. For whatever reason, this person seems to be bringing in that your energy is, I don't want anyone else's opinion and what they think I should do. I don't need the influence. I don't need the help right now. I need my quiet I need to be with me right now. No one else. I don't need that outer influence. Ow. What else? Ow, this person most definitely wants wants long term with us. Uh, th with this one, they would be sitting the ten of cups you're having on earth to them. True bliss, contentment. Ow. So, Yeah. Let's find out about the Ace of Cups, because that's new love, but it's, you know, it's an, sometimes it can represent, you know, where someone's expecting, you know, an, a, a new member being born into the family, stuff like that. It can, you know, it's new love. It's a blessing of love. Let's find out a little bit more if they'll go a little bit deeper on that one for me. Because I don't feel like uh, the relationship with you is like, it, I don't, they already have a love for you. So why would they be saying it's new? Oh, there's lack. There's lack. There's that five of pentacles again. Not taking a hold of the opportunity of love. The empress. Sit down energy. Our empress is always, you know, most of the time she's always sitting uh, her best advice when we pull, you know, if we're doing a reading, it's like, what should I do? And she comes out, she's like, sit down and do nothing. The best action to take is no action right now. Just observe and see what happens. And perfectionism. Um, trying to perfect something before we can be happy and, oh. Heart of nostalgia, pleasure, six of cups, and sometimes that actually does represent children. Uh, it's not going to be for all of us, but somebody might be like considering pregnancy. Uh, the fact that we got four ones over here in this person, uh, yeah, that support, that family tribe, building on that. Uh, somebody might be wanting to have children. We might actually be for some, you know, could be just one of us, uh, expecting a child. Uh, but we might be in conflict about it. Because uh, over here we might be like, I'm not ready. And over here they're like, there's never the perfect good, good moment for that to happen. Uh, you just go with it. It's always the perfect time. For this person, they would be saying it's always the perfect term, no matter how difficult things are. And this person over here is like, no, <laughs> you you need to wait for the right time. Perfect perfectionism, the right time, the right moment to start a family, to start bringing in that kind of responsibility to add that in. Ow. <laughs> 
So let's actually pull over here and see what they're going to say on this one. Because Aquarius, I really feel like that's probably your energy. If it's not their energy, then, then it would be flipped. This would be you over here like, I'm ready. I'm tired of waiting. And they're going, no, it's not the right time yet. Things aren't perfect yet. You're like, things are never going to be perfect. But let's see what they're going to say over here on this This energy. Uh, I'm not ready to jump into that yet. Let's think this through. Let's be practical and sensible here. Ow, oh, a turning point. Eight of Cups. Ooh, sacrifice. Uh, I've been making some sacrifices. Do I want to go in a new direction? And we've got the Ace of Cups again. Mm -hmm. Or do we want to actually step, step into building a family and we're going through stormy times are we going to get through it uh, six of swords can also indicate like travel physical travel oh for some of us we might not actually have like a home and you know we're wanting to create a perfect thing we might be working travel to work things like that that you know but this is just moving away from stormy times. It's not the time. This person, like I said, it keeps saying it's not the time. And they're trying to get a perspective on things. And they feel stuck. Stuck in some energy. Of, I don't, yeah. They got some chaotic stuff on this side going on. Oh, okay. Aquarius. Guys. Hmm. Let me shuffle these around, then I'm going to pull the message decks out. But let me go ahead and get this one shuffled for our next round of talks that we're going to do. There we go. Hold the energy on that deck for me. Get it over here. Let's go ahead and get some messages from your person. Let's come over here to that uh, Knight of Wands, that mover that's ready and getting frustrated, and but trying to be patient at the same time. What are they going to say? I'm working on myself. I'm working on this. Yeah. Hmm. What else? What else? Ooh. I just want to hold you. Mm -hmm. Just want to hold you. And you'd be like over here. I don't think so. Not right now. I don't need. I don't need the, the energy right now. I need myself. Some privacy right now. Let me get my clarity. What else? What else? What else? What else? They're going to go quiet on me because I talked like that. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Go play with yourself for a minute. I want to tell you how I feel. Mm -hmm. Anything else on that? Was there anything else? Was there anything else? Okay, let's move on to this. Ace of Cups. Let's see what they're going to say on that energy. Let's just have fun. Let's quit being so serious about it. Mm -hmm. Let's just have fun. What else? Oh, we're going to get half a deck fall out here, but we're going to take this one. I'm sorry. They're saying I'm sorry. Let's quit being so serious about it. Let's just drop it for now. Yeah. What else? Mm, right here. I don't know how to prove my love and loyalty to you. We've got another one that was peeking up with that one. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Ooh. Is there anything? Yeah. I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay. Let's move over to this person's energy. And see what they're going to say on that. Oh, now right here. I smiled at our old text messages. Mm, <laughs> like that. I smile at our old text messages. We got just got too serious, didn't we? I'm ready to follow you anywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sweet. Aquarius. December, Sagittarius Capricorn. That should be a confirmation for someone. It should, you know, ring a bell. If it don't, it may come to you later. 
let y'all know December's coming up in front of us. It's November while I'm doing the reading. I lost everything. I lost everything. What else? Obligations stand in the way. Obligations stand in the way. Let's go back to the tarot. Let me move and alternate the deck so I know which message deck to use next. Let's go ahead and see if they want to talk about anything else here. For my Aquarius, this person. My Aquarius. There we go. Anything else you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, right here. The Magician card. Energy. Magician. Manifesting. Working on what it is you want to manifest. What else? Got a seven of cups, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. But uh, the the good thing about our seven of cups, a lot of times it'll come in, and you know one of the key words on it is illusions. You're way too much in your head, and you're scaring yourself, not able to make a decision because you're feeling overwhelmed. The good thing about it is there's plenty of opportunities available. To so yeah, and that's what I'm feeling is that positive of there's plenty of opportunities uh, for this Ace of Cups. What else? What else? What else? Right here. We've got eight of wands, eight of wands. Things moving too fast, but also uh, communications, picking up communications and um, <clears throat> but I'm also, I'm, I'm leaning more towards just, it feels more of the momentum. Uh, are they pulling too fast, pushing too fast on this person? Things going too fast for this person? Are they, are they trying to say, let's pull the other deck. They might be trying, because I feel like they feel, they feel like they have pushed too fast. Pushed it too fast on us. Uh -huh. And they might be acknowledging uh, that. Let's go deeper. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and pull on that. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Got a plan. Yeah. It's recognition. So that's most definitely. That just gave me confirmation that I was right. That this person. This person over here is saying they pushed this person to the, the given recognition of I'm, I'm trying to push things too fast push it on you too fast let's put that one back in so i like that because they're, they're really considering this person's feelings and stuff and especially with that let's just drop it for now and let's just have fun let's lighten up let's don't get so serious about it plenty of opportunities in the future for the ace of cups let's see Go a little deeper on their uh, magician energy here, manifesting. What exactly do we want to manifest? Oh, loss of the pleasure. <laughs> That's a five of cups, y'all. Disappointment feeling left behind. Hold on. Death card transformation. Ooh, how did how does that fit into what they're wanting to manifest? Oh, judgment card. Trans yeah. Hmm. Tell me about the five. Tell me about the five. Anxiety. Needless stress, anxiety, worry. Uh Knight of Wands the mover, trying to move things too fast on us. Causing a lot of strife and friction between us on that one. Um, so, yeah, what what they are saying with these is what they have done. To they're, Like I said, they've acknowledged they pushed way too fast. They're trying to move things too fast. To, to, you know, this Ace of Cups too fast. Uh, they caused that strife that to, they pushed you away. They pushed this person away. So, yeah, and, I don't know, there, there is that sadness, but these two, um, let's pull on those, because uh, they're, 
they might have a little deeper of a fear and concern shadow energy of they pushed you that they put, might have pushed too hard that they pushed you really far away from them and could have caused it to end but they're hoping for a resurrection a different judgment mm -hmm. tell me about those victory card oh a Eight of Cups, that's that turning point. Abandoning what, what you've been wanting to do. Oh, the charity card, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is like, they don't definitely don't want to keep pushing an issue when you're not ready and they're, they're willing to wake up to and, and give in to. Um, this person over here is not ready for this yet. They're, they're willing they're like, I get it, I get it. They don't want to push this person away, completely away from them. Uh, and they will give in. They will give in on it. The card of generosity. Uh, I, I completely understand. Let's, let's drop it. There's plenty of time, uh, plenty of opportunities for this, for that, whatever that's representing for you. Like I said, for some of us, it's to start a family. So, yeah, and this person is like, they don't want to keep pushing the issue, uh, and, uh, yeah, they, yeah, they don't want to push you away, because they, they feel like they are pushing you away, that you're going to get sick of it, and turn a point, and abandon, uh, the connection. Let's go ahead and let them pull, uh, talk on their magician energy here. What they, what would they like to say here? You are my ultimate happiness. Oh, Aquarius, I love that. What else? What else? I'm afraid to tell you. What else? What else? Oh, I pushed it back. Hold on, guys. Me and my fat fingers. Let's see if we can get it to come back out. Come on, I'm sorry. I <laughs> didn't really push it. Yeah. Mm. It's right there. You're incredibly sexy. <laughs> Are they trying to distract you? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what they want to say on that Seven of Cups. There's plenty plenty of opportunities in the future for that. We don't need to focus on it now. I'm sorry. We need to talk. We need to talk. Mm -hmm. Will you talk to me? I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. Oh, right here. Right here. Right here. Reach out. Reach out. What else? What else? What else? There is more to come for us, but first I have things I need to take care of. What else? What else? In time. In time. In time. We can lighten up now. <laughs> yes. You're making it really hard to stay away. Ooh, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and get your person to pick a deck to give you some final messages. Your closing messages. What deck would they want to use? Oh, we're going with the roses. We'll take it. It's from my Aquarius. No, Final messages, just a brief closing messages, please. Ooh. I'm making the effort. You're too beautiful. That's an intimidating statement. Mm -hmm. We have shared many past lives together. My friends say that I focus too much on you. Mm. Anything else? Yep. 
I need you to make the first move. That may be on the talk. <laughs> I'm, because I'm afraid to tell you. <laughs> yes. Did we have that one over here, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Look, let's just have fun. Let's lighten up about things. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. I don't want to make you miserable. I don't want you to feel pressured. I need you here with me. One more. I'm not sure how you really feel about me right now. Want to tell me? <laughs> okay, Aquarius, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless me.